Here we go. Hey, combat boots and juicy, juicy fruits. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That was a little throwback for those of you who grew up in the real Sunday school. Holla! Good day, everyone, and welcome to a brand new seven-minute sermon series, Fruit of the Spirit. The term fruit of the Spirit refers to nine attributes or virtues of the Christian life set forth by Paul in his letter to the Galatians. And throughout this 10-part series, we're going to be looking at each one of these fruits one by one and what they look like when manifested in our everyday lives. But before we dive in and get all tutti fruity, oh Rudy, I thought it would be best for us to start by talking about the fruits of the Spirit as a whole. Where did they come from? What is their purpose? And how might we misunderstand them? Now, as I said before, this list of fruits comes from Paul's letter to the Galatians. And in this passage, Paul is encouraging us as believers to walk by the Spirit, not by the flesh. Paul describes this battle of the Spirit against the flesh that is raging inside all of us. And these fruits could be looked at as evidence that the Spirit is winning that battle. You see, it's important when talking about the fruit of the Spirit to remember that the fruit is not the seed. It's the fruit. Uh, yeah. Duh. But seriously, we often treat these fruits as if they are some standard that we have to work really hard in order to achieve. Like, oh, I really need to be more loving. I'm trying really hard to be gentle. I will be self-controlled! But in reality, this is no different than relying on our flesh. To do or achieve these virtues all by our own power is not only way too difficult, it actually defeats the whole purpose. The fruit of the Spirit is not about outward activities, but about cultivating a Spirit-surrendered heart that will produce this type of fruit. These virtues are not legalistic commands that are laid upon our shoulders, but they are what freely happens when we choose to walk in the Spirit. I think that perhaps when using this phrase, Paul was alluding to Jesus' metaphor of the vine in John chapter 15. Jesus said, No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. So we see here that this fruit is not something that we work really hard to achieve for ourselves, but it is what naturally happens when we abide in the vine, aka walk in the spirit. So again, remember, the fruit is not the seed. The Holy Spirit is the seed that produces this fruit in us. And if you think about it, it actually makes perfect sense because an apple tree does not have to focus and work really hard in order to produce its apples. The fruit is a natural result of the seed meeting its proper nutrients. But obviously these fruits of the spirit are not just a magic trick. And while we can't drum them up or create them for ourselves, there is work that we can do to help create room for the spirit in our lives. So how do we walk in the spirit or abide in the vine? Well, to put it simply, we have to stay close. And this is done in many different ways. One of the ways this is done is through prayer, through consistent communication with God. It's also done through study and meditation of God's Word. Hopefully through watching A Day in the Word, the internet's favorite Bible study on YouTube. And it's also done through staying connected in godly community. You see, the more we engage in practices like these, the more room we will make for the Spirit in our lives and in our hearts. And the more we choose to surrender to the leading of God's Spirit in our lives, the more we will begin to see these fruits pop up. When this starts to happen, our natural response will be love. Joy will begin to flow freely from us, and we won't have to work so hard at being gentle. So make sure you tune in next time as we begin to walk one by one through each of these fruits of the Spirit. And what are they again? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. 
Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching this seven minute sermon. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are as excited as I am for this new Fruit of the Spirit series. I hope you will make the commitment now to watch all 10 parts. It's gonna be happening over the next couple months. And maybe if you liked this video, share it with a friend. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, please, please make that commitment right now. Hit that subscribe button. That would help me out a lot. And that's all I have for you. I love you all. Keep being awesome. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Yeah.